Hello, my friends, and welcome to my segment of Pouring from Coast to Coast, a bi-weekly collaboration with Garrick Brown, Tara Lombardi, Britt Clayton, Maida Johnson, and me. Now, we alternate leading off the um, train, the collaboration, each week, and sometimes we'll give each other a challenge. So if you've already seen Britt's video, you know that she came up the challenge this week. We are to use black as a background, maintain some negative space, and use gold in some way. So I am using Artist Loft ready to pour paints, but I have extended them with Floetrol, mix them one to one with Floetrol. I just like to do that. It, um, you know, I think it's more economical and I'm happy with the results I get that way. I'm also adding some silver to the mix and possibly some turquoise blue. I've also mixed these one to one, but I have added a dollop of glue, Elmer's glue all to them just because I didn't feel they were thick enough and I don't want them spreading out on me because I'm going to do my um, drizzle technique. So let's get to it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm pouring over something, an old ribbon pour that I, I didn't like. And in fact, this one did just that thing that I, I used the wrong mix on it and it just spread out and got really ugly. So I'm anxious to cover this up with black. <laughs> could do a ribbon, a ribbon pour instead, couldn't I? But I think I'll try the drizzle. I think I'll do the drizzle technique. I just have a little more control over the placement when you drizzle as, a pouring, as opposed to uh, pouring it out. Okay, I'm going to tilt it. I'm not going to worry about the sides too much because I can easily cover them in black. I think kind of the key to doing this drizzle technique is to have your base coat be very thin. Not inconsistency so much. As you can see, this is still on the thick side but a thin layer of it. If it's too thick, the, the drizzles you um, lay out tend to widen. And I don't care for that look myself. All right, so I'm just gonna, and I'm getting pretty good coverage on the sides as it is, so that's good. Oops, I got a bare spot over there. Um, I'm not going to be tilting anymore, so I'm going to take my gloves off and use my palette knife to cover up that spot. I got a funny I'm taking my gloves off and I have a lumpy spot over there, but I'll try to avoid that area. All right. Uh, I think I'll hit it with a torch. I did just mix this up and I see quite a few bubbles, but I never worry about them. I do love a black background. Or drama. All right, I gave some thought to what I want to do here, and I think, um, again, in keeping with the minimal thing, I'm going to do a circle, and then I think straight lines. I think, or, or do I want? Well, let me see how my circle goes, and then I'll decide if I'm what I'm doing. <laughs> Hmm. 
my circle-ish. I, I don't like to just pour it out because um, it would be too thick for sure. And I just want skinnier lines. And I like the kind of organic look I get. All right, I've already changed my mind. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna do straight lines. I don't think. I don't know. Let me get, let me work on this one. <laughs> I better do a voiceover. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. See, I had too much on the stick there. I got a big blob that started first, but that's okay. What would it look like if I do lines. Or shall I do three circle -y things? I think I'll do three circle -y things. Um, <clears throat> have one right in the middle there, so now I'll do one kind of off, maybe a half circle off to the side, and then I'll do one three quarters down there. That's what I'll do. Kind of looks like a bird's nest to me. These lines, I like it. Love that gold on the black. It looks really cool. All right, and now down here I'll do maybe one um, I want it reaching the edge. I don't want it floating in the middle and I, I don't want to do another repeat of that. So I usually start in the center and work my way out. I don't know why I started on the outside. All right, now let's move on to some silver. That's minimal, <laughs> but I, I can't leave it quite that simple. You hear that horn? Oh, it stopped. Somebody's car alarm. Speaking of alarm, my husband is due home any minute now, and the dogs will probably sound the alarm. And if anyone's interested about Kissy, my dog Kissy, um, I announced that she was very ill. Um, gosh, I don't know how many months ago it was eight months ago maybe I think it was in November so quite a while ago that uh, she had cancer has cancer a bad one an aggressive form but oh my goodness I will mute that um, anyway uh, she's doing really well she's got um, she's on all sorts of supplements not really medications but supplements 
special diet, and uh, she's doing great. You'd never know she was sick unless you uh, you knew. She is very lumpy. She's got a lot of tumors, but um, she's doing wonderful. So I know some of you are, have asked about her, and I'm happy to report that she's responding really well. She's um, going to be going to be 14 this year. I don't think I want to add the blue. I wish I, you could tell me what you think. I don't think I do. Can I be done? I be done? And should I keep going? I, I got the required negative space. I love blue and uh, the turquoise and black, but I think I'm going to stick to these two colors. Maybe I'll add more gold since that was required. That's what I'll do. A little halo of gold around here. So there's not much to this technique. It does take some uh, some practice. Your paints have to be just the right consistency. You have to be kind of close to the canvas, but not too close that you drag your stick in there. You have to have just the right amount on the stick <laughs> to drizzle. So you know, I've, I've had some practice at it, and I still make mistakes. But that's fluid art for you. Well, my friends, believe it or not, I, th I think I'm going to leave that. I add some I could add some nope some some poured lines but I'm gonna leave it I'll sit on my hands if I have to I'll turn the camera off and um, I'm gonna leave it alone well there you go my minimal answer to British challenge I hope you like it my friends thank you for watching and I'll see you next time oh did you want to look a little closer there's There you go. Ooh, there's me. I did wash my hair today. These lines will pretty much stay put. There we go. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Happy painting.